All right, go All ahead. Right, here Lead we go. It off. First pick, Dearness Johnson, Cleveland Browns, the guy that none of us had heard of, comes in and has nearly 100 rushing yards after Nick Chubb gets injured. And the broader surprise, 300-plus rushing yards, even though Chubb only contributed 43. This Browns running game is for real, and it actually hurts Nick Chubb's bargaining position when he tries to get a new contract after the season because the Browns can just look and say, we can do it with anyone. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, first off, I mean, he looked, like, legit good. Like, it wasn't just like, oh, wow, yeah, this is a third-string running back. Oh, good, it's kind of he's making do, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that 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 was like, oh wow, whoa, whoa, who is that guy? I mean, that's kind of what he did to me the first time he touched the touched the ball. Um, so he's he's got a chance to be something, and and good for them. Again, if you're gonna be a running football team, you better have more than one running back and good orchestration of the roster there by the Browns. I I, I think the Sunday surprise for my first. Of all, I'm gonna go. Is it, we haven't talked about this game. The Giants defense. All right, or, or do I say lack of Rams offense? Which one's better? I don't know. But I just know I'm all right. So lack of Rams offense. Uh, and again, I think what's a little and I, you know, we've hit on this a little. But what's scary about the Rams and, and I, I, I see it is just if they can't run the ball, they a little like your Minnesota Vikings that way where it just you, know, you can't they're They're not going to like put up points and dominate a game if it becomes, oh, we have to drop back the pass to beat you and do it that way. I just don't think they – I don't know. It just It's going to be interesting to see as we go forward. The Giants have a very big defensive front, and the way that game looked like me yesterday was they basically went, hey, big defensive front, you stop the run, and we'll, we're going to use some of our extra guys to take away the boots and the stuff that McVay does to get easy completions all the time. And because they were able to stop the run, that allowed them to be all over the boots and the play-action pass. And, man, the Rams uh, did not look good yesterday. You're just upset because the Rams covering was one of your best bets. Piss me off, but no, I don't care. But yeah, I mean, my, it was not a good week for picks altogether. I don't know how you did, but I know I didn't do very well straight up against the spread or anything. Well, since we were identical, I identical, identical. straight up, it wasn't good for me either. But I'm one and oh best bets. You're uh, one and two. I still have two props tonight, the Packers and the over in the late game. All right. My next one, Joe Mixon. He, a double surprise. He went to the hospital on Saturday to get x-rays because of a chest injury that showed up on the injury report Saturday. I'm thinking the guy may not even play. He had 181 yards from scrimmage and three touchdowns. He'd had zero touchdowns all season. The guy was incredible. May end up being the AFC Offensive Player of the Week for Week 4. And uh, coming after we got the surprise that he may not play because of the chest injury. Incredible performance from Joe Mixon. Uh, I just hope people can start to look at this guy. He is one of the five best running backs in the NFL. He really one is. One of the 15 best five running backs. I, in the I NFL. know my five now. I know my five. I'm down to it. I told you from the start, and Mixon's in, in it. And Nick Chubb is in it, and Derrick Henry's in it, and Christian McCaffrey's in it, and Alvin Kamara's in it. That's where I'm stopping. Those are the five best running backs in football. I know there's some really good ones out there that I'm leaving off, but if you want to put that on social media or anybody, I'll put it on there later. That's my top five running backs. But I'm with you. All right. He's a beast that way. Um, I, I, mean, I mean, I'm going to go with – it's a crap surprise, but it was a surprise. And, you know, a, a big crap surprise can be just as surprising as a nice, fun birthday cake surprise, all right? And that Nick Mullins crap surprise last night is the one that I'm going with, all right? Just crap down his leg and everything. I mean, holy cow, that was horrible. So, yeah, big crap surprise on Sunday Night Football right there. I would have never expected that. I mean, Nick Mullins, the way he looked last week, and you went, oh, man, I mean – and, and 49er fans, I'm going out there in the regional sports network. They're on me all the time because I made Jimmy Garoppolo my 19th rated quarterback. They think he should be higher. And then last week I'm on there and they want to go, should we bench him for Nick Mullins? I mean, that just tells you the world we're in. But regardless, uh, Mullins, that was just everything was bad last night. Throwing, pocket presence, taking care of the ball, crap surprise, Nick Mullins. I've got a different surprise than what we usually do, but right. I think it's important. It needs to be mentioned. John Gruden, big surprise, seriously, that he is tempting fate with a potential suspension or loss of draft picks when the NFL has already hit him for a hundred grand and the team for two fifty and the team for another fifty for having an unauthorized person in the locker room and the ridiculousness we saw last Monday from all those Raiders players that were at an event in an enclosed space with no masks in sight for Gruden to have 
And he, he got rid of the loincloth. He went back to the traditional, like, neck gaiter. Yeah. But for him to have that thing as a jowls catcher on Sunday instead of up over his face – What's he expect the league to do? He's sticking his finger in their eye over and over again. And I know it's the Raiders and that's part of the mystique. But, dude, if you're not coaching next week, there's a reason for it. It's going to be because the NFL is making you the poster boy for the example they're going to make of anyone that gives them the middle finger over these protocols. And the call's happening later today. Oh. And I won't be surprised if at the end of the day we find out Gruden's been suspended or the pay, uh, the, the Raiders have lost a – I'm so used to the Patriots losing draft picks. The Raiders have lost a fifth-round draft pick or a fourth-round draft pick for what's happened. I'm just guessing, not reporting, but it won't surprise me if it happens. Man, I mean, there, there was a few coaches we saw. I, I, saw, I saw, of course, Gruden. Yes, uh, you're right. I mean, they're, they're playing with fire. There's no doubt about it. I mean – Especially after everything that's happened the last week. I, I just, yeah, that's kind of the surprising thing. I mean, with the league and everything that's gone on, the country, everything that's gone on, you, you, yes, I, I understand it. Man, would they really have the guts to suspend a head coach, though, off of it? That that would be, like, big time, big time. Or do they just find them another big check? I don't know what happens hey, there. But What gets their attention? What's going to get a coach's attention? What's going to get his attention? Yeah, money. Take a week off. Draft picks or a week off. <laughs> yeah. Week off. Yeah. Week off is going to get their attention. All right, what else you got? All right. Um, I, I, I think I'm just going to go – I'm going to go with Teddy Bridgewater. And I don't mean it. It's more than him. It's the Panthers' offense, but just everything they did yesterday. And he is the focal point. I mean, you, you mentioned it earlier, but Bridgewater, the movement, the way he's played for the most part, been pretty damn good other than a few mistakes against the Bucks And – uh, they are. I mean, just they're very efficient. They really are. They controlled the ball yesterday. They never let Arizona really get in a rhythm. Really, part of the great reason they defended Arizona so well is because their offense kept the ball away from Arizona too. And he threw high high percentage passes, good screens. They run the ball. So to me, that was one of the pleasant surprises of Sunday. Just Carolina, Matt Rule, Teddy Bridgewater, and what they got going on there. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.